Hello everyone, this is Ami. Today I'll be making a vector icon with an iPad. I already have two videos uploaded, one on how to make a camera icon and the other one on how to make a headphone icon. The links to them are in the description section. They explain the basics and general steps to icon design on iPad in more detail. I highly recommend that you check them out. This video will be the third one in the series on icon design. This video will be more advanced. I'll be making a presentation handout and keynote using these icons. There will be multiple apps introduced in this video. It's for advanced users, but try to keep up with me and see what you can do. So to begin, I'll start by making a video icon. I'll be making something similar to the YouTube icon. First, from the left frame, grab a rounded rectangle tool and create a rectangle shape like this one. And start inserting a triangle within it. When making a triangle, first create a rectangle and then you want to turn it. Grab the rotation tool to turn it 45 degrees and after that, erase one point of the rectangle using the path tool. You may erase that point by selecting the minus icon at the bottom. The size or the length of the rectangle can be adjusted here using the path tool. And so, once you're done altering the shape, the video icon is complete. Next, we'll be making a notebook icon. Using the rounded rectangle tool, create a rectangle, and we're going to make use of the straight line tool. We only use the rounded rectangle tool and the straight line tool for an output. Regarding the straight line tool, when you draw while touching a blank area on the screen, it lets you draw a line vertically. This is very useful. When you want to copy and paste, there is a copy-paste option from the clip mark at the top, so from here. Just like this, we are almost done. If you want to change the thickness of the line later, select the eye icon. From there, choose the option called the stroke. You can change the thickness of the line. Okay, let's go on to the next one. We will be making a brush icon. This is the last icon. This brush icon is a bit difficult to make. If you are used to handling the path tool, then it might be easy, but for those who haven't really used illustration before, you probably need to practice a little bit. But you know, I really want you to give it a try, and you'll get used to it quickly. I used to do this on a desktop using a mouse, but being able to use this path tool with Apple Pencil feels intuitive and great. And so I was really impressed when I realized I could create vectors on my iPad. This time we are making icons, but you can also make logos and I've seen some illustrators use this app to make logos too, so you can give it a try as well. Alright, the brush icon is complete. When you are done, make sure to turn it around. This time we made 5 icons, a brush, a camera, a video, a notebook, and headphones. Now, here will be the highlight of today's video. We are going to paste these icons on a different app, Keynote this time. First, copy the camera icon here from the clipping mark. Then, open Keynote on the right using Split View. Tap and hold and choose Paste option. Doing this enables you to have the camera icon on Keynote. This is pretty awesome. 
Since the icon is pasted in PIN format, the background is transparent. Just like this, paste all my icons created on the app graphic here. I find this process to be a little hassle, honestly. I look for different ways to do it and try to drag and drop, but it didn't work. Once you have 5 icons lined up like this, adjust the size. This is what it looks like. I think even these look cute already. By the way, the only drawback of Keynote that I happen to find is that you can't select multiple images at the same time. If you use a keyboard by pressing the shift key, you could use a keyboard and press the shift key, but otherwise you have to edit one by one. Okay, I want to design these icons a bit more. From your camera roll, drag and drop an image of your choice, the image of an iPad this time, and then insert it. Change the size as well as the position by sending it to the very back of the display. Change the size of each icon like this and alter their positions. After this, we are going to edit text. Once you're done, you want to add something like a title. I created a handwritten title using Procreate. So now I want to add this title here that says what you can do with iPad Pro onto Keynote. So first, change the size of your canvas according to the size of letters by trimming. You can adjust the position and size of letters using the lasso tool later. After this, long tap the screen for the copy option to show, then tap it. Then go back to the keynote, long tap, and select paste. This way, these handwritten letters appear. Same with the icons. They appear in PIN format, meaning that the background is transparent, so even if you overlap it with the image, it looks neat. I find how you can copy and paste between apps really amazing and such a great finding. I'm excited just thinking about what else I can do with this app. At last, put underline here and it will be complete. This time, making icons turn out to be successful, and I think they're pretty cute too. In this video, I introduce you to hacks on how to paste icons and text created with Graphic and Procreate onto Keynote. Keynote was a little challenging to use. Graphic is an app I highly recommend, so I suggest that you download it. I want to introduce you to how to create a design using some other amazing hacks on various apps. So please subscribe to my channel if you haven't and stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.